Hello and welcome. This is Ali Nasser. I am SolidWorks certified expert. Today I will talk about FEA basics for SolidWorks simulation. At the beginning, what is a SolidWorks simulation? SolidWorks simulation is a commercial of FEA capable of solving problems common only found in design engineering, such as the analysis of deformations, and natural frequencies, uh, heat flow, uh, optimization or, of your design, and a nonlinear SolidWorks simulation comes in different bundles. Uh, we have four uh, bundles like SolidWorks Simulation Express, which can use only for static analysis and uh, for one or for one or single body uh, only. Uh, and we have SolidWorks Simulation, which can use for static analysis, parties, and assembly. Also, we have SolidWorks Simulation Professional, which have uh, many cases like uh, thermal buckling, uh, frequency, uh, drop test, optimization, your design, and fatigue. We can use uh, the SolidWorks Simulation Professional for parties and, uh, and assembly. Uh, at the last, we have uh, SolidWorks uh, Simulation Premium, uh, all capability of SolidWorks Simulation Professional plus nonlinear. Uh, dynamic uh, analysis have in uh, SolidWorks Simulation Premium. And here we will define the finite elements analysis. Uh, the term uh, known or familiar in uh, stress or simulation world. Uh, FEA is a numerical technique for of solving field problems desired by said partial differential equations. We can use FEA in uh, mechanical design for solving uh, problems like uh, structure, uh, vibration, and thermal analysis. Um, first, to you design your CAD model like that. And uh, in uh, FE pre-processing, we have to input some uh, information like type of your analysis, uh, material properties, supporters, loads, and then we will make uh, FE solutions which make uh, discretization for your geometry and then solve the, your problem, your geometry uh, to give uh, results in st stresses, give your results as displacement or stresses or uh, reaction of forces and so on. The construction of uh, FEA contains of mesh nodes and elements is the discretization process uh, which splits the geometry into relatively small and simple shape entities and we have elements uh, the small uh, the small entity uh, known as element uh, which have a shape like tetrahedral or rectangle every uh, on it is element uh, has point and we know known as uh, uh, here we will uh, talk about the types of elements in SolidWorks. We have two types uh, in SolidWorks, uh, draft quality and high quality, or uh, we can uh, name it, it first order elements and second, end, uh, second order elements. The first order elements uh, have tetrahedral shape and uh, the, its shape doesn't change after the formation the linear displacement and constant stress. We have four nodes on uh, tetrahedral element, and this is a shape of elements in geometry. The second element is known as high quality or second order solid tetrahedral elements. Uh, in high quality elements for solid, the shape of tetrahedral change for uh, parabola shape after the formation and linear stress and parabola strain. We have also we have ten nodes before and after the uh, formation, and also we have two elements for so uh, shell elements. Um, the first element is draft quality or first order triangular. Uh, which have a uh, shape as a uh, triangular uh, before and after deformation doesn't change linear displacement and constant stress. Um, we have three nodes on uh, corners of uh, element that shape of uh, triangular uh, on geometry. 
Second, uh, the second type of elements for chill chill elements is a triangular chill element uh, which have uh, high quality uh, and uh, the shape before the formation uh, like that and after the formation we have parabola shape uh, ele every element has uh, six nodes uh, and linear stress parabolic strain here is a shape of uh, the elements on the geometry also we have elements for beam and truss we change or replace the geometry by a line to reduce the cross section area uh, in solving or uh, dec decrease the uh, time of solving mm, uh, like that if you uh, treat the beam as solid will make uh, more time uh, in here in beam elements we have uh, no vomicis stress which we'll discuss later uh, not available because it's only for 3d uh, elements um, no penetration contact are possible for uh, beam elements. We'll discuss what is a no, no penetration contact uh, uh, later. For solid elements, for a structure uh, like that, we can use uh, solid elements to solve your problems uh, by uh, using uh, tetrahedral. For cheat metals or uh, uh, parties have constant uh, cross section, we can use a chill mesh. For beams, uh, we can uh, for beams and uh, truss, we can use beam elements to simplify the problems. Some elements cannot treat as a tapered beam because uh, in here in this picture, uh, cross section uh, are differ different. Uh, and here uh, the cross section uh, have long uh, twist and here the planner faces at end so some uh, some parties cannot treat it as tapered beam here is a comparison between solid elements and chill elements solid elements is basic shape is tetrahedral but chill element is triangle in solid elements, we have only uh, three degree of freedom, and uh, in shell em elements, we have six uh, degree of freedom. Also, we have uh, draft quality and high quality for solid and uh, chill mesh. Now we will talk about the failure series. We have many failure series in solid workers like vomices. Vomices stresses we can use it, it for uh, ductile metals. Um, like um, mild steel, brass. An element we have uh, f three uh, stress: one normal and two shear. For for material uh, brittle, we can use stress or uh, principal stresses, which have uh, element uh, only one normal uh, stress. For the factor of safety is equal to stress design divided by uh, stress of material. In your stress or static analysis, we uh, have some assumption. Uh, like load are applied slowly and no inertia, no time dependence. Uh, the material uh, behavior is linear in flexible zone, not both uh, the plastic zone. We have also a small deformation. Uh, the, the stiffness is constant. Here is the assumption for uh, linear and nonlinear stresses. In linear stresses, uh, statics, as we said in previous slide, load applied slowly and small deformation, linear uh, material, no plastic deformation, stiffness is constant. But for nonlinear static, the load applied suddenly. We have all, also large deformation. Uh, nonlinear study, uh, uh, available for nonlinear material and the stiffness is not constant also we neglected the energy but in linear dynamic we uh, applied load very slowly and it can say it is uh, zero value uh, stiffness is constant and also we can use uh, linear dynamics for uh, case studies like frequency in, in nonlinear dynamics, 
the load is applied suddenly and uh, large deformation non -mater non linear material uh, stiffness is variable but we take in consideration the inertia here is the steps or checklist for solid work simulation first we define the material like steel 2040 and then uh, ask yourself what is the physical working condition like uh, pressure or force uh, bolted or welded uh, and then modeling your uh, your geometry in solid work simulation to get uh, values or results as stresses and ask myself is my design okay I have a safety factor uh, greater than one uh, or uh, I need uh, some optimization for my design that's all for now we will talk about uh, more in solid work simulation in next session I hope this is uh, useful for you my regard is Ali Nasser don't forget to, to subscribe my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel to uh, follow this series of solid work simulation